All right. It is Orb Blitz Day, so it's time to open some orbs and get some Minerva. Nope. <laughs> Come on. I have still not gotten a single Minerva drop in premium since she was added. And it makes me sad. Ooh. Oh, shit! I was going to buy that in like 10 minutes. It's in the store right now. That was going to be the end of the video. I was ranking him up to four stars. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm... Wow. That's amazing. That is like the one character I want more stars on. So bad. So, so bad. Oh, I love Rocket. All right, well, let's let's see if this luck train keeps on rolling. Oh, what the shit? Oh, I already got him four stars, but that's back-to-back -back fours. That's... Uh, wow, that's crazy. Let's see if we get one more. Nope. Yep. That's a dupe, but that's okay. Um, I... I have been waiting a long time for this. Oh, look at that. Another 1,000 damage. 5k power. Uh, let's see, another, like, 180 focus, 180 uh, resistance. Or no, actually 212 resistance. Nice, all right. A little bit more armor. Oh, I love my trash panda. Oh, I love my trash panda. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I've been wanting to upgrade these abilities for a while. Um, not quite yet, though. I will hold off. Um, that was awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, let's open some of this crap. Man, four red star rocket. That is so sweet. Oh, man. What luck. I have four red star fury dupe. That's kind of funny, but man, I just—that's I, the one character I really wanted upgraded to four red stars at least. I just love his damage. I love him in every raid I can use him in. That's going to be so helpful for uh, Ultima Seven whenever that comes out. I just—oh man! Did you guys notice that they stopped giving us the anniversary shards uh, for Blitz wins uh, since the Iron Fist event? Or uh, blitz ended. That kind of sucks. Um, let's hit some of these. Maybe we'll get some Captain Marvel. Nope. Ooh, five uh, ABCs is nice. Need a lot of those. Ooh, there's some gold. Gold. Not terrible. Oh, wait. Okay, let's grab those. Let's go back down here to orbs and let's check this out. Oh, we don't have enough for an Ultimus orb. Alright, well, we had some good luck. It's worth pulling another orb. Come on, Carnage, or something good. Ah, gross. Gross. All right, well, no more of those. <laughs> just going to keep doing that now. Just pull one randomly and see where it goes. All right, let's see if we get something useful. Nope, more Ultima Shards, of course. Uh, but yeah, I was going to go here, and, and I was going to buy them. But now I don't have to. Now I can either get... Four Red Star Star Lord or Captain Marvel are pretty much at the top of my Red Star purchase list from going to, for going to four Red Stars. Um, but I was thinking about it today, and I really should probably just hold on to them until Invisible Woman comes out, and then if I don't get a good drop on her with my Red Star orbs uh, at the time, I'll be saving this Elite one for her, or maybe somebody else. We'll see. Um, I may just go ahead and. Uh, use the tokens to uh, upgrade her because you know even if I you know only get like zero red stars on her it's uh, basically 65 tokens to upgrade her to four red stars from zero red stars and so that's not terrible you know for an entire calendar set of events and stuff um, you know you gotta spend them somewhere and if she turns out to be arena meta viable then uh, 
you know, I may actually want to spend that on her. So if you guys are still thinking about what to use your red star tokens on, um, that's kind of my plan now. Uh, I was thinking of getting Rocky because he's like my favorite character in the game. Um, and I was going to do that, but uh, thankfully, uh, that lucky pool right there just saved me 50 tokens and I can spend them elsewhere. So now I don't really have anyone that I have to upgrade, so I'm okay. Uh, other thing, if you noticed here, um, you got Shuri coming up in six days. We got two axe spider verse shards which includes shocker uh so you don't want to farm him or green goblin or venom if you need him still uh today until uh soft reset at 7 p.m central and um oh did you see the the marvel 80th uh sale ended so i hope i hope you got all those amazing offers for parts of an orb and 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 garbage um you know good luck with that Anyway, let's go hit the raid real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get through these two nodes here. Um, a little behind on energy right now because I'm having to solo a lot of this lane. Uh, unfortunately, I have to do all the boss nodes and the mutant nodes. So I'm a little uh, overwhelmed as far as energy I have to spend to uh, hit all these nodes in this gamma raid. So we'll see how this goes. Um, since this is the node right before the boss node, I like to save up all my abilities as much as possible, uh, except for this one. And just hope it doesn't get dispelled, but usually one of these electrics pulls off the taunt. And uh, there we go. All right, that's fine. And uh, I just kind of slow play it, because these guys don't do a whole lot of damage here. The, the, the dudes prior to the boss nodes are just so weak. Like, it's amazing. And I don't use Captain Marvel's ult because I'm scared that I won't get enough energy back in time for the next node to start off with it. Because my primary uh, weapon in Gamma is her ult to get rid of Okoye right off the bat. Um, that is so important, or Doctor Strange if necessary. But my buddy, he usually hits it uh, prior to me and he kills Strange every time, or he has been doing that at least. And... Uh, that's pretty helpful but for the most part I'm just letting Minerva keep everybody topped off and I try to remove the heal blockers as much as possible because they um, you know will prevent him my guys from being topped off uh, sometimes so want to do that and then uh, just kind of get down the damage dealers first and that way you can kind of heal through everything else um, so there's still six characters six guys left uh, so I only need to get two more turns on um, cyborg to get him his ult back so not a big deal and his ult isn't that crucial for me in my uh, gamma boss node fight so I don't mind using that either because it's relatively uh, cheap so we want to get rid of these blade masters and then go after the electras if I can um, not sure if they're gonna go and biz here and get away from me but we'll see <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, and we'll go after damage. Ooh, there it is. All right, so now we can kill Electra. All right, she revived. That's okay. More heals. <laughs> and we'll go after this dude, and then after this dude. And that should be it. All right. Easy to do with mostly basics. Um, you know, that's just how I prep right before those boss nodes, is I always take that node real easy. Um, make sure I have plenty of energy to get all my stuff done. And you can see my buddy here, he did kill the Doctor Strange right off the bat. So that helps me um, quite a lot, because it means I can go after uh, Okoye right off the bat, who is the one person that can dispel my Kree Royal Guard taunt on turn one. And usually Captain Marvel ult will nail her in one shot her. <clears throat> However, Psylocke does have a Dispel attack, but she usually doesn't have it when I start here, so we'll just have to see how this works when they drop in. Alright, so, they all get to go first. She gets an offense up. He does his ult. That hurts, but I'm glad he hit Royal Guard first. And here we go. Now we're going to go with this ult on her and one-shot her, do some damage to everybody else. And then Royal Guard's going to D up and hopefully keep everyone alive take some damage got that slow on him I love getting that slow um, I'm just gonna use the basic to 
dispel here and oop, that didn't work. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use yeah, cyborg's thing. Um, yeah, I guess I can. Hopefully, I'll just get some energy generation here and there, and then it won't matter. Uh, but we do want to get rid of Panther and Psylocke. Uh, let's get rid of Psylocke here real quick. I think I can kill one more before the next uh, wave drops. So we'll try to get this guy down. Let's get rid of those buffs off of him. And then let's go get Killmonger down a little bit. Um, let's see if we can one-shot him. There we go. Get both of them down. Nice. All right. And let's see if we can get Killmonger down. Nope. There's that counter will stop De or De or Deadpool for a sec there. Uh, let's keep hitting this Killmonger. And I think the next group's going to drop, so I want to start we uh, bringing these guys down a little bit. Let's see if we can call in some help. Maybe they'll survive. Oop. Ouch. Uh, let's see if we can get Deadpool down. Nope. Um, we need to kill Killmonger then. See if we can get Royal Guard some heals. There we go. Uh, let's hit this cable. He's still pretty high health. And then that Mantis is going to heal my uh, or the enemy Deadpool, which sucks. There goes Ronin. My guys are pretty low health. And uh, that's not good. We got to kill Mantis real quick. Uh, otherwise, she's going to heal everybody back up. I'm going to go ahead and call Ronin back in. Hopefully, he gets uh, in a turn before he dies. That would be nice. I always appreciate that. Uh, we're going to get rid of Deadpool and hope that the AoE kills Mantis. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Ah! Shit. Fuck me. That sucks. Oh, no, don't kill my... Don't kill my Ronin. I need to ult Minerva. Alright, I gotta hope that this dispels both counters. And it only got one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. We're just going to go for the kill. Let's get rid of Mantis here. Uh, oh, I got a Dispel. That's what it is. All right, let's get rid of Mantis at least so they can't heal much. Uh, let's still get those regens off. And then let's get rid of... Hopefully that'll kill Gamora, get some heals. And then we need to get rid of this Okoye. Uh, shit. Um... Actually, let's get rid of Cable while we can, just to make sure. I don't know. Fewer they have, the better. Um, if D down, don't want to eat that counter. Uh, need to get rid of Koye, though. She does a lot of damage, unfortunately. Ouch. And that speed bar reduction. Uh, let's see if we can get her. Get rid of that counter. Let's kill her with the AoE. And barely eke this out. Ooh. Now, oh, I was one energy short of uh, bringing somebody back. Not that it really matters, because I'm not making it to the next set of Kree nodes. Uh, and if I do, I think it's Kree Guardian, so all I need is Minerva out of this team, so that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's just that's funny. You know, it's just like, ah, I hate ending nodes without all my dudes. It's, uh, it's It hurts, but yeah, uh, so all these are Mutant Brotherhood. Uh, X-Men Mercenary, and then this one is two, and then it back goes back into Kree, Spider-Verse, Guardians, so obviously Minerva plus Guardians is probably the best team you can get out of that. Maybe send in Spider-Verse if you haven't built, built pretty decently as a uh, single, you know, single node uh, fight or something. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's not too bad. I'd say that's a successful run of attacks and all sorts of stuff. Uh, neither one of these guys are really interesting to fight, so I'm not going to bother wasting a token right now. Sorry, uh, you know, I can only hit what's in front of me. <laughs> so uh, that's how it goes. Um, let's see. Are there any offers worth buying? No. 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 Nah. No. Nah. No. 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 Ugh. Eee. No. 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 God, no. Ugh. Hell no, tree orbs. No, no, and no. Okay, so in case you were wondering, there are no offers worth buying. So, just FYI. <laughs>
<laughs> all right. Well, uh, that's all I got for tonight. Not a whole lot going on here. Uh, but Sherry is coming up this weekend, so that's cool. I will definitely be getting a six-star Shuri. Um, I looked ahead and peeked at what the uh, requirements are for Shuri unlocks, um, like power levels and stuff and like the five star you need like a 120k team or 130 40k team something like that um but my spider man is just so high and i'm gonna be working on miles and uh rhino they should be fine green goblin's pretty decent venom and carnage uh not terrible but carnage i just got six stars on the other day because i got him in a uh mega orb drop of 100 um so that just barely got him to six stars which is just perfect timing really really perfect timing um so i'm pretty happy about that uh, by of these guys i will be working on um so spider-man's done uh, i'll be working on miles because i actually really like his kit i think of the spider-verse guys probably him and rhino are probably the most useful to me uh, i know carnage is a beast but he's just kind of a, a solo dude uh, i think miles with his uh disrupt and turn meter reduction slash slow i think he fits as a wild card in a lot of different teams uh especially city teams and so that's kind of cool but i know we're going to need city villains coming up or something like that so i am working on rhino because i like him as a tank and uh green goblin for the defense downs and then venom and carnage as i can and then vulture i'm going pretty hard on because i can get him from arena uh credits which is really easy for me to obtain because i'm always top 10 and so i'm, I'm going to get him seven stars as soon as i can uh, for those of you farming Invisible Woman, as you know, um, the Sinister Six guys are what you need. So it's these two, uh, Rhino, Green Goblin, Shocker, Vulture, and Mysterio. Uh, I am buying Mysterio shards every chance I get in the raid store. Um, just hoping to uh, get him to five stars before she comes. I think we got at least 30 days because of the Shuri announcement. I think minimum it should be three weeks away at the very least, more like I would guess to get invisible woman so I think they said it's gonna be end of September it usually lasts seven days for the first time it comes around so uh, even if you don't have it right at the beginning of the event you probably have a few days until you got it uh, but I'm gonna be refreshing shocker for 50 cores twice a day every day until then uh, I'm gonna to try to get six stars on him but I doubt that's gonna happen I am going to spend a ton of cores tomorrow and the next day on his campaign node for the double drop so i probably will go up to 200s or so for his refreshes and just use all of my energy that day specifically on him because he right now is the bottleneck and i know i could probably potentially get some shards for him from mega orbs but i'm still holding out to see if any other characters get added i'd love to see cyclops psylocke and uh Minerva, well, yeah, uh, get added to the Mega Orbs before I pull the other 28 I'm sitting on, but we'll see. Uh, but it would be nice because all these guys are now in the Mega Orbs, so that's great because that's another team that requires a lot more shards than what I have right now to build, and uh, so there's a lot more guys that I could potentially hit on in those Mega Orbs, so I feel like it's uh, well worth the wait. But uh, yeah, so my six star unlock team for Shuri is going to be Spider-Man, Miles, uh, Green Goblin, Carnage, and Venom right now. Um, however, I've got six more days, um, so I may be able to get uh, Rhino up there. 15 shards a day times six uh, will give me right around 100, and so I may uh, be able to get him to six stars during the event and use him to unlock her at six stars. We'll see. Um, but I, I just, I know I'm putting resources into him right now. So that's kind of my plan is, uh, him and miles I'm working on and then, uh, farming, of course, shocker, vulture and Mysterio every chance I get. So, and Rhino as well. So it's, uh, it's a lot of resources to get all these guys, but, uh, I, I think it's worth it. I've also seen some videos of Sinister Six actually being pretty good for a single fight, uh, for like Lions War offense or even on defense potentially. Um, so you know, they aren't a total waste like some of the past unlock groups have been, like uh, Phoenix's unlock was just, you know, a couple of uh, really, really crappy Mystic controllers that uh, 
don't really need. So <laughs> at least these guys have utility. They have purpose. And I'm hoping that, you know, in the near future, there will be a uh, sixth person to join the Sinister Six instead of the Sinister Five. So, um, you know, hopefully they get the whole band together and uh, then we can even out these two teams of Spider-Verse and Sinister Six. So we have five and five instead of four and five, which uh, creates problems as far as balance goes for Blitz teams and whatnot. So... All right, well, that's where I'm at. Uh, that's my plan for the next few weeks. Um, just hitting uh, Blitz milestones and stuff um, for the orb things. And then we're doing this bombastic Blitz. You can see here we have one real overachiever here at 10,000 plus points. We're already at 108,000 uh, points for the milestones, and we only need 250K. So we're more than a third of the way there uh, in our alliance, which is pretty awesome. And... Um, you know, there's still 10 days to go. So in, <laughs> in three and a half days, we've already done a third of it. So I think I think we're on track. But I know that I'm, I'm really happy about this Alliance milestone, though, this time. Um, only being 250K and making it very obtainable for alliances that may have people on vacation, people who just hate Blitz and don't want to contribute. Uh, I think it's really good that they lowered the bar on these. So I know we're probably going to finish with a week left. But there's no harm in that, right? I mean, there are plenty of other alliances that don't blitz as hard, that don't play the game quite as much as some of the other try-hard alliances like ours. And, uh, you know, it's just it's how it goes. And you can even see on ours, our 16th person has 2,800 points versus our top guy at 10,200. So it's quite a disparity. But uh, lots of people contributing, and that's great. Um, you only get to see the top 16 though, so you have no idea who the bottom eight are and how far into the bottom they are, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, especially from like a leadership role of trying to figure out, well, who needs to, you know, do a little more to help out. But of course, plenty of people are working and covering them. So, uh, yeah, you can see, and I'm up here at uh, 7,800, not too bad. So that's how it goes. But, uh, these are good rewards for the most part. Uh, I like getting Daymor at a three star unlock for doing all this. I think that's, that's a pretty solid reward from what I can tell. So, you know, you gotta be grateful for that. And, uh, then what you get out of the orbs that you get through the process is just gravy. You know, that's, that's just nice to have if it does, uh, give you something good to drop. But, Anyway, um, that's where we're at. That's what I'm doing. Uh, if you got any questions on what to build or what you're going for, um, you know, I I would personally shoot for unlocking Invisible Woman regardless. At least get five stars uh, on Sinister Six if you can. I know it's a lot of resources and and a lot of credits, especially if this eats into your Alliance War credits in Blitz. Uh, trying to get Rhino to five stars. Um, you know that's that's going to be a balance you got to figure out and you know i will say uh, the more i play alliance wars the less i believe uh deflects and boosts really matter um i i think with the right planning with the right teams right matchups and coordination with your alliance uh, you could probably just not boost very much and uh, save a lot of blitz credits that way um really i don't I don't see a whole lot of purpose in using blitzes and let or boosts in, in um, alliance wars, except at the end when you're just trying to slow up the enemy if you're both going for full clears. Uh, it just it doesn't it doesn't really deter people as much as I think people believe it does. Um, but those are just my thoughts. That's where I would pull back. I personally would much rather have people buying energy and doing more attacks um, than you know buying boosts. I, I just, I, I believe that energy is the way you win. You go on offense, you get more kills than them, you do it faster, you're going to win. As long as you attack smartly and have a good plan, I think you'll do better. But that's that's my idea. I would I would pull back on the, uh, the boosts a little bit if I needed to save Blitz credits for Rhino. Uh, maybe just do like one, a war instead. So uh, it also depends on your alliance requirements. Some some alliances do require X number of you know boosts or attacks per war, and uh, maybe you need to talk to them about that. Maybe you need to go more defensive and say, hey, I got to save Blitz credits so I can unlock Invisible Woman. Um, maybe that's something that you need to look at with your alliance. Maybe that's something in leadership you need to think about too. But uh, that's I think it's going to be important to have her though, because that Fantastic Four team with the more is is set to be a surefire win against a lot of teams in alliance wars and you know one more team like that along with like sinister six and 
you know, we're basically at the point where it's just everybody's going to be racing to full clear. Um, you build them up to tier eight or so and level 50 and, you know, you'll be able to take out, you know, 150 K team pretty easily with them. And, uh, if you got the resources, build them up a lot more and it's, it's going to be another brotherhood type team that just annihilates, you know, 80% of the teams that you'll see on defense. So, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be important, I think for Alliance Wars and, uh, just general roster build up. but it'll be interesting to see if she finds her way into the arena defense or offense meta. Uh, but right now, as you know, arena meta is basically Ultron plus Phoenix and then three best dudes and you're probably good enough to beat just about anybody in your shard and it's just a matter of staying at a, ahead of the, the fights and uh, getting as high as you can and being as high as you can up there I mean, oh, I got hit five, who hit me? Herenius <laughs> uh, I guess I could fight him hmm. four red star phoenix six red stars right now, I already follow these plenty of times and I've killed this X-Men team no problem, so I don't know what people are smoking about uh, X-Men being the best defense with Ultron uh, I think Drax helps a lot because it keeps uh, Ultron safe for a turn. But yeah, I uh, I think uh, I would probably sub... Actually, yeah, if you sub Drax into this team instead of like Storm or Psylocke, um, maybe that would work. I don't know. I, I didn't really think Psylocke did anything because of the way that the turn order went, but I guess we'll see. So, uh, yeah, just uh, keep on gaming, having fun, and... Uh, Hit those raids, hit the Alliance Wars, and uh, get some get some wins, get some stuff, and save up your red stars for the Fantastic Four guys coming up soon. So, uh, Torch is next week. Fantastic was announced for, I think, the 12th or something like that. Uh, here was it. Mm, what was it? I thought I saw it. Oh, you know what? It was uh, Data Mind. But anyway, that's where we're at. So... Cool, guys. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you later.